Here we have a polynomial long division problem. We want to divide this big long polynomial by this thing. And polynomial long division is a lot like regular old long division. So let's say you had 150 and wanted to divide it by 7. We'd set it up like this. And the first question is, how many 7s go into 1? Well, none. 1 is too small. How many 7s go into 15? 2 would fit because 2 times 7, now we multiply, is 14. After you multiply, the next step is to subtract to see what's left. You get a 10. How many 7s go into 10? Well, that's 1. So 7 times 1 is 7. Multiply and then subtract again, and we get 3. And from here, we can't do anything else. So we've got 21 with a remainder of 3. So that's just a refresher on regular long division that you probably learned in, in elementary school. Let's see if we can do something similar with this big polynomial. One thing to know about polynomial long division is you need to have uh, your the piece that you're dividing, you need to have it in descending powers of x with no gaps. Uh, in this case, we've got the third power, second power, first power, zero power of x. That's all good. It's in descending order. There are no gaps. If there was a gap, let's say we had no x squared term, we would fill that in with a plus zero x squared. But in this case, we don't have to worry about it. So let's just write this out, 9x cubed minus 15x squared plus 3x plus 3. And then we'll make the same kind of bracket we do for normal division. And we'll put this guy out here, 3x squared minus 2x, the thing we're dividing by. So our first step is to say, to ask, let's just focus on the 3x squared part first, because the 2x is, is sort of a detail afterwards. How many of these go into this? Another question um, you could ask is, what do I need to multiply 3x squared by to get 9x cubed? Well, if I multiplied 3x squared by 3x, I would get 9x cubed. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to put 3x up here. So let's multiply now. 3x times 3x squared is 9x cubed. That's good. Uh, we also have to multiply by the second term. So 3x times negative 2x is a negative 6x squared. Now we're going to subtract this whole thing. And this can get a little confusing with the signs. So uh, uh, do your best to keep this straight. The first step, 9x cubed minus 9x cubed, that's pretty straightforward. That's going to be 0. And this is what we want to happen in every step. That first term should come out to 0. So that's good. The second one here, we have a negative 15x squared minus a negative 6x squared. Minus a negative is like plus. So we're taking negative 15x squared and adding 6x squared to it. It's going to give us a negative 9x squared. All right, that step might be a little confusing, uh, but that's, that's really an important part there. Now we've sort of completed one whole uh, step in the phase in the, in the process here. We're going to start repeating that same process. So uh, the next question is, I've got this negative 9x squared here. What can I multiply 3x squared by to get um, uh, a negative 9x squared? And be careful of signs here as well. The answer is negative 3. If I multiply negative 3 times 3x squared, I get negative 9x squared. <clears throat> I have to bring down my next term too, so we're going to have a 3x here. And then we've got to multiply the second piece too. A negative 3 times a negative 2x, don't forget that negative sign, is a positive 6x. All right. Now we subtract, and uh, this gets tricky with the signs again. I've got a negative 9x squared minus a negative 9x squared. So minus a negative is like plus. So a negative 9x squared plus 9x squared, that's 0. Good. That's what we wanted. Then we have a positive 3x minus 6x. That's going to be a negative 3x. And then we bring the next piece down. Next question we have to ask is, what can I multiply 3x squared by to get negative 3x? The answer is nothing. This has got a lower term than this. So we're done. This is our answer. And what remains here is our remainder. So our answer is 3x minus 3, and our remainder is negative 3x plus 3. So that is a little bit of work with polynomial long division.